the movement of an ion across the membrane that is not balanced by a movement of a counter ion leads to separation of charges and this charge separation is the basis of establishment of potential difference across the plasma membrane let us consider two compartments a and b filled with ion solutions which are electroneutral and separated by a membrane which is permeable to only one ion potassium side a is filled with potassium chloride solution and side b is filled with sodium chloride solution since the only ion permeable is potassium potassium moved down its concentration gradient without accompanied by the negative ion chloride so there will be excess positive charge over here and excess negative charge here they are not electron neutral anymore and this electrical gradient increases till it becomes strong enough to oppose the movement of potassium itself more the positive charge accumulates it prevents the positive ion entering from this side and it will pull back the potassium so concentration gradient driving the potassium from a to b and electrical gradient driving the potassium b to a when this is equal and opposite there will not be any net movement of potassium ions and the potential difference developed at this stage is called as the equilibrium potential so equilibrium potential is the membrane potential at which the electrical and the chemical gradient of the ion is equal and opposite and there is no net movement of an ion if we know the concentration gradient that is the concentration on both sides of the membrane we can calculate the electrical gradient using a equation called as nernst equation so here the ex stands for equilibrium potential of an ion x which is equal to rt by zf that is gas constant or t is the absolute temperature z is the valency and f is the faraday's constant and this is natural log of concentration of ion inside divided by concentration of ion outside we can simplify this equation by adding all these values we get this equation minus 61.5 divided by z the valency log of ion concentration inside by outside let's use this equation to calculate a nernst potential the intracellular sodium is 10 millimole it's an example and extracellular is 100 millimoles what is the nernst potential so let's enter this values minus 61.5 divided by the valence of sodium is plus 1 so it's here log of concentration inside by outside 10 by 100 millimoles so this is minus 61.5 so log of 10 by 100 we can reverse it as 100 by 10 and this will create one minus so that we will add it into front so it becomes plus 61.5 so this is because log a by b is equal to minus log of b by a so this minus we have added in the front and exchanged the numerator and denominator so this is plus 61.5 log of 10 base 10 is 1 so the answer is plus 61.5 so what does this mean in the question it is 100 millimoles of sodium on the extracellular side and 10 millimoles on the intracellular side sodium has a concentration gradient which drives sodium from outside to inside as sodium is a positive ion which moves inside create a positive charge and this potential difference becomes high enough as 61.5 exactly this electrical gradient which will push the sodium back towards extracellular fluid and the concentration gradient driving sodium towards intracellular fluid becomes equal and opposite there will not be any net movement of ion I want to add one more thing here the amount of ion which has to move from one side to other side to create this membrane potential this depends upon multiple factors like the membrane capacitance concentration gradient charge of the ion and so on but in a typical cell extremely small amount of ion movement is actually required to generate this potential difference so these concentration gradients itself will not change when a small amount of ion moves to create a membrane potential if you observe the equation closely you will understand that the concentration gradient is 
important more than the actual numbers so 100 by 10 will give the same results as 40 by 4 so the gradient ratio is more important than the absolute numbers and if the concentration of both sides are equal that is both sides are if, let's say 100 then this becomes log 1 and log 1 is 0 then the equilibrium potential becomes 0 so if there is no concentration gradient there will not be any electrical gradient also in a cell there are many ions and each has their own equilibrium potential decided by their concentration gradients if all the ions are freely permeable they will all try to reach equilibrium and try to take the membrane potential towards their own Nernst potential value but which ion will win this tug of war so that's the topic for our next video goldman equation or ghk equation thank you